Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Try Not To Break Anything. Today, we're going to go ahead and remove the hot end from the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, and we're going to replace it with a smaller hot end. Believe it or not, swapping out the hot end on the Bamboo X1 Carbon, it's a pretty simple job. If you go to Bamboo Lab's website, they actually sell the complete hot end assembly that you can replace entirely. Buying just the hot end, it's actually a lot cheaper than buying the entire hot end assembly. Because instead of replacing the heat block, the thermistor, and the fan, you're gonna be reusing all those parts on your new hot end. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to only replace the hot end for your Bamboo X1 carbon. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your hot end is at a safe temperature to handle. They say that it should be around 30 degrees Celsius or lower, uh, but in my case, I have no problem handling a hot end that's 38 degrees Celsius. So with this temperature being safe, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna turn off the power to the 3D printer. Put the power off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the front faceplate. It's magnetic, so it just pops right off. And I'm going to move the front faceplate somewhere up top here so it's not in the way of what we're trying to do. With the hot end face off, what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna remove three different cables. You're gonna remove the cables that are here, here, and a smaller set of cables right here. So let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna tug on them gently but firmly so you're not breaking anything. So you get two here, and then lastly, we got our cable here. There we go. Now with our cables removed, we can go ahead and start removing the old hot end. In order to remove the old hot end, you're gonna remove this screw here and this screw here using um, an H2 Allen wrench. Be careful, there's a little clip here. Make sure you get the cables from out of there. And here is the fully removed hot end assembly. With the complete hot end assembly removed entirely, what we need to do now is we need to remove the fan from the hot end to put it on to our new hot end. So what you're gonna do is take your Allen key and you're going to remove the screws that are located there. You're also going to wanna to remove the hot end sock and you do that simply by pulling it down. You're also going to pull this metal clip off by pulling it down. Now we pull this off, which is the ceramic heat block that actually heats up your hot end. You're then going to gently pull this out, which is the temperature reader. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your new hot end, the one that you're gonna be using, 
And I want you to take a look at it for a moment. Find the side of the hot end that has two lips where the ceramic heater block will fit in perfectly right there. Here and here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna take a Q-tip and your thermal paste or thermal grease from Bamboo Labs and you're going to apply some of it to the Q-tip and with that you're going to apply it to that little inset here a little bit and add just a little bit to the hole where the temperature reader is going. All right. Now with that done, you're gonna go ahead and take the ceramic heater. You're gonna put that right there onto it. And you're going to take the little probe and you're gonna stick that into the hole here. Allow the probe to go first underneath this channel here, or through this channel on the heat sink. Put the ceramic heater back on, likes to move. All right, with that there, you're gonna get your clip now and you are going to take the little springy side right here that goes with the heat sink. And you're gonna slide that up onto it about halfway. So let's say right about here. Okay, we just got the hard part done. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your little sock for the hot end and you are going to find the, little, the opening right here, match it up with the wires here. You're gonna slide the sock over it. And now the sock is covering the whole thing. Perfect. Next, we're gonna take our fan, making sure that these wires are inside here we're gonna install the fan back onto the heat sink. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll put in our screws. And we will screw it in. You don't want to screw it too tight, you just want to make it nice and snug like it was before. There we go. Everything's great now. Let's go ahead and install it now back into our 3D printer. All right, and now for the final step, we're going to go ahead and put the hot end assembly from the bottom here sliding upward, matching the two holes for the screw and you are going to place the screws inside and you are going to screw it in. Now you want to tighten both of them equally so go back and forth to make sure that they're both tight. You don't want to over tighten them you just want to tighten them enough. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our cables Beginning with the smaller cable, we'll go ahead and plug it into its slot. Then we're going to plug in the smaller four cable. We'll go ahead and plug this one in now. And lastly, we'll plug in this cable. Okay, with your cables installed, you'll just go ahead and put back on the magnetic face and you should be good to go. And that's it. It's pretty simple, guys. If you wanna save a couple dollars by not getting the complete hot end assembly, Bamboo has actually made it fairly simple to do nozzle replacements using the same components from the complete hot end assembly. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody with a Bamboo X1 Carbon or know anybody who's thinking about buying one, send them this video. So that way they know what to do when it comes down to changing the hot end on their printer. Thanks guys.